Good morning, you two. It is Wednesday. No, Leslie, why are you doing that? Wednesday, the 18th of July, and I am... I already walked my dog, I already fed her. I just washed my face, and I deep conditioned my hair overnight, Monday night into Tuesday morning. And then I put all the styling products in it, and then I literally just went to sleep and took a nap. And this is how my hair dries when I don't style it or I don't do anything to it. Hopefully y'all can see. This is how it dries. I didn't put any gel on it either, but it dries into kind of like this Afro formation. But the thing is my hair on the top is a little bit too long for me to wear this in a cute style because I actually really like Afros. And I love the way my hair looks short in this shape. But the top is too long, so, so it's like folding over and sticking out. You see that? So if I really wanted to wear my hair in an afro, I'd have to cut off some more off the, off the top section. And I don't really want to do all that. So we're going to do my hair and my makeup in this video. I'm going to update you on some things that have recently happened. Because I don't know if y'all can tell, but I do not feel well. I feel kind of sick. Um, I feel better than I did yesterday, so that's a good thing. But... Yeah, we're gonna hop right into all that. So what I just put on my lips was some Nivea Milk and Honey Lip Care. It's just a lip balm, so my lips don't get dry. I also need to moisturize and tone my face. So we're gonna do all that. So last week, Thursday, I think it was Thursday, I went home to my parents' house and I took Nola with me because I needed to clean my apartment, my old apartment, because my lease there ended yesterday. So my lease there ended yesterday. And so my dad and I went down to Ridgeland and cleaned up my old apartment and also like sold back all my boxes I didn't use and just like got a lot of stuff done. And then I just like hung out with them on Thursday and Friday. And with Nola, I finished my book written by Francesca Ramsey called well, that escalated quickly. I finished that book. That was something I really wanted to do. So I'm glad I finished it. And I have, I might read one more book this summer. As of today is when things start to get really, really busy for me. So I might try and finish up one more book this summer. The other books I have are a lot smaller than hers. So I think I can read one more book this summer. But so we'll see. But that was good to be with my family and stuff. Like my dad grilled on Sunday. I got to go to church, the church um, that I went to when I was a senior in high school and see um, the people at that congregation. They really were fundamental and key parts of me getting my first classroom set up. They donated lots of stuff um, to that classroom. And I honestly left a lot of it there because I know what it's like um, to teach in that school and any sort of motivation to stay, like having some extra materials and things. It's going to be necessary to find someone to come to that school. So I left all my stuff there. Um, I'm looking at my tan. I did get a little bit of tan. So, yeah. Um, so then I came back Sunday evening. And Monday, I found out that Daniel didn't have to work. Daniel is my special friend. We'll call him my special friend. We're not official yet, even though we're exclusive, but... He didn't officially ask me to be his girlfriend yet, which I'm, I'm totally cool with because I know he's not seeing anyone else and I'm not seeing anyone else. So I really, I really don't care. And I actually really want to take things slow with him. So I would like for us to be getting to know each other for at least a month before we actually put a title on it. Because he's already kind of seen, almost seen the full range of who I am. And I really want to see if he can make it through band camp with me because band camp, I'm super tired. I'm very short with people. I'm not as patient. I'm very tired. I'm not going to have a lot of time to spend with him at all or to talk to him. And when I do talk to him, everything I'm going to talk about is going to be about band camp. So we'll see if he can survive that. And if we make it through that, then I'll be his girlfriend if he asks me to. <laughs> or he could be like, girl, you're crazy. Bye. So <laughs> we'll see. Oh, I just moisturized with the Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer. This is a little sample I have. I really like this moisturizer. So, yeah, so my skin, 
skincare is done, let's move on to doing my hair. I'm going to pull my hair up in a puff just because this top section, it doesn't look good. Like I would wear it in an afro, but like I said, this section is too long. And I don't want to freehand cut it myself just for this style. So we're going to pull my hair up into a puff. That's one of my signature looks that I normally wear. And my hair is totally dry right now. As you can see, it's 100% dry. I didn't put any gel on it, so it's pretty soft, pretty moldable. So first thing I'm gonna do is find what headband I wanna use. For my puffs, yeah, I'll use this one. I like to use these headbands and I stretch them out on a chair or on the door of um, a cabinet first to get them a little bit looser so it's not tight and won't give you a headache. And I loop around my neck twice. Y'all have seen me do this before. And I just leave that there. It shouldn't be so tight to where it's like choking you. It should be pretty comfortable. Like there's a slight bit of pressure, but it's not bad. Then you're gonna need a water bottle and you're gonna need to moisten the perimeter of your hair. Moisten. So I'm just gonna spray around the perimeter. This is kind of messy, which is why I like to do this before I do my makeup. But I'm spraying and then like kind of smoothing the water up into the perimeter of my hair. Ooh. This water is cold. I normally add warm water, but uh, I didn't do that because there's already water in here. Okay. You just want to go all the way around the perimeter, smoothing it in. Water makes your hair more malleable, easier to move and manipulate and style. So once I have the perimeter of my hair down, with water, you're going to take your favorite smoothing cream or gel, whatever you use to slick your hair up if you're into the slick look. If you're not, then you can just skip adding additional product. I'm going to add a little bit of, I'm trying to use up my Eco Styler, Eco Style gels. I barely have any argan oil left. Like, this is basically empty. Like, I could throw this away, but I'm going to use whatever's left over for my edges. I'm going to use a little bit of the Eco. Gold, is this gold? That was what it's called? Yeah. The one with olive oil, shea butter, and black castor oil. This one? Yeah, I have some of this left. I honestly am debating whether or not I want to give up Eco Gel because it's so inexpensive and it works so well for me. And it's like, I would love to explore other gels. And there are other gels that I do enjoy, but this is the best for like holding my hair, is Eco Gel, like for hold. And I'm going to liberally apply this around the printer of my head where we just sprayed water. Um, I do have some chai tea to drink. I need to drink it because... So Monday, Daniel and I went to Carowinds, okay? Carowinds is a music park like Six Flags. Um, what else? What other music parks, or parks are there? Like Six Flags. That's the only one I can think of right now. It's an amusement park, roller coasters, all that stuff. I really enjoy roller coasters, but it was, it was very overcast. It actually ended up raining on us like towards the end, which is fine. But it was really overcast, but it was super humid. And um, I was, I'm pretty sure I was kind of dehydrated. So I was struggling. And now I'm taking a boar bristle brush to smooth my hair even further in the direction that the hair is going to be going. So I'm smoothing all my hair up around the perimeter. But it was so humid, and I'm pretty sure I was dehydrated because I started to feel kind of sick after the first few roller coasters. And we did walk and have breakfast. We walked with Nola to Dunkin' Donuts. Um, and we sat there and ate breakfast at Dunkin'. But I'm pretty sure I was dehydrated because I just was not feeling too good after a few roller coasters. And I kept making, making sure that I did drink water while I was there and all, but I just was not feeling too well. But I made it from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. because I didn't want him to waste his money. You know, he paid a lot for the tickets and and I really, I was having fun, but I just wasn't feeling well. Like I was enjoying myself, but I just didn't feel well. Hopefully that makes sense. And he was very understanding. You know, he didn't try and push me past my limit or anything. And I try to take lots of breaks and kind of sit down and and breathe and try not to, I don't even know if it was like a throw up feeling. It was more of like a, sorry, I'm wiping the excess uh, product on my shirt because I'm gonna wash it. It wasn't even like a throw up feeling. It was more of like, I feel like I might, pass out kind of feeling. 
like faint. And I still kind of feel that now. So we went to Cameron's. I wasn't feeling well, you know, I think I was dehydrated or whatever. We ate, you know, we had food and all that. And I was, I felt better after I had food and after I had water and stuff, but still just wasn't good. But nonetheless, I still had fun. I still enjoyed it. Um, it was a good time. I'm thankful that I got to, that's something really fun and exciting I got to do before the school year starts. And that was something that we put on our, our, our dating activity list. We have like this list of activities that we want to do together. And that was one of them. So I'm glad we got to cross that one off. And I was like, yeah, I probably won't be coming back for a little while. Um, he wants to go for scare ones. I told him about scare ones because he likes scary stuff. I'm not really a huge fan, but we'll see. We'll see by the time that time comes around, if I'm up to it. Now I'm just taking the Eco Argan Oil and I'm just doing some light slicking of the edges. Nothing fancy or complicated. But um, so that was Monday. And then we were so tired after like, um, I bought us dinner since he bought the tickets. <laughs> I was like, where have you not eaten? Because one thing I like to do is take him to places he hasn't eaten or restaurants he hasn't been to in a while. And that can be fast food or restaurants or in the middle. Um, so one place was Jersey Mike's. He'd never been to Jersey Mike's. And I was like, oh, you know, I used to work here when I was in college. I worked there for a summer. And like, they have really good hot subs. You know, the cold subs are good too, but you know, a hot sub is like a little bit different. Like it's a little bit, it's on a whole nother level, especially when you're really hungry. I feel like it's more like a meal. I don't know. Even though it's like the same size as a cold one, but a hot sub is just a little bit different. It just feels more hearty <laughs> so we both got hot subs and the guy like kind of messed up the order put banana peppers on his sandwich when they were supposed to be on my sandwich and my sandwich wasn't supposed to have bacon but he ended up putting bacon on it which i wasn't mad at i was like yeah i like bacon so that's that's all good he was just not paying attention but it's okay the food was good and uh we both got giants because i he eats a lot daniel eats a lot i don't think i've ever met someone who eats as much as he does as frequently as he does like homeboy eats a lot frequently like multiple times a day like every it's almost like he's a baby like every two three hours he's like i'm hungry i'm like we just had a whole meal me, I only eat normally once a day, but the more I hang out with him, like I'm starting to get hungrier too. I don't know if it's because I'm seeing him eat because sometimes I'll literally take him to get whatever and I don't eat because I'm not hungry, but I'm just like watching me eat. So I don't know, maybe that's making me hungrier, but anyways, um, I've never met someone who eats as much as him. So we got a giant. I got a giant because I was like, I'm going to eat half today and let me eat the other half for lunch tomorrow. And he I was like, you're probably going to eat your whole thing now. But I was like, you're going to be hungry in three hours. So why don't you eat half of it now? And then you eat half of it in three hours. And he actually did that, which I thought was funny. He's like, that's smart. You're thinking of future Daniel. And I'm like, that's kind of what I do. I'm an educator. I think for the future, like what's best for the students in the future, what knowledge do they need to have in the future for their future to have a successful future. And it was just really funny. So then um, he went home the next day, Tuesday, yesterday, I woke up. I still was not feeling well. I slept so good though. You know, I had a very good sleep because we were exhausted from being out in the heat and we did the water park too at Carolyn's. And um, I'm just washing my hands now. I'm done with this hair my puff and we went to the water park too and I was just I was so tired and exhausted I'm gonna dry my hands Whew, so tired so exhausted but um Tuesday I woke up and I still was not feeling well like I was not feeling well I did not wear any makeup yesterday like I was in my bed for most of the day I slept most of the day um and I did chores around the house. Um, I was not feeling well at all. I just had tea, I had soup, like I was just trying to feel better. And now it's Wednesday and I still don't feel as well. I feel better than I did yesterday, but now it's like I have a headache and I woke up with the headache. Um, and last night, like I kept sneezing, I kept needing to blow my nose. So it's almost like I have like a head cold or something like that. So yeah, 
I think that's what's going on. Like some sort of sinus or head cold thing. I don't know. You know, when you're at an amusement park, you touch a lot of rails. They don't really clean the railing and stuff there. Even the actual stuff that you sit in, like the actual ride, they don't clean that. They don't sanitize that. And how many people's bodies have been in there and they've sweat and all that stuff. And it's just like, I'm pretty sure I got some germs from Carowinds and that's why I don't feel so well because I've been in the heat when I've been dehydrated and I didn't get sick. Like I'm thinking back to the two band camps I taught where the first days I was not prepared. I was not prepared at all. And I was dehydrated, but I was able to push through because that's what professionals do for the kids. And I wasn't really feeling the best, but I didn't get sick. Like how I feel sick now. Like I feel like when I'm slightly congested, I'm like, why? And I have just a headache. Like that's the main thing. I, if I can get rid of the headache, then I'll be good. So, but I've been drinking water, having my fluids, trying to stay hydrated and all that. So, so yeah, I just don't feel that well today. But I have a meeting with my mentor at 11 at Waffle House. We're going to Waffle House. Going on a little date to Waffle House. I love Waffle House. Y'all know that. And then um, at 2.30, I have my band camp staff meeting. This is like the official meeting before band camp because band camp starts on Monday. This is our official meeting where we go over everything. We listen to the show. We talk about stuff. We find out you know, how much we're getting paid. I'm excited for that. I need to know these things. Um, I find out who my kids are and everything. So it's like this big, long meeting. I'm super duper excited for it. I love this meeting. I honestly love band camp. Like, I am just in love with Bandcamp, just the process, like, of learning the show, creating the show, mastering the show, and just seeing the progress that the kids make and just how they grow um, as musicians and also physically how we all grow because we all know that it's rough being outside in the South Carolina heat, but we build up our stamina and our endurance. And just seeing how they grow when it comes to teamwork, working with their sections and how the sections work together to just produce the whole show. I just love all of that. I know it sounds really corny, like. I love band. So let's go ahead and do my makeup for this meeting. Um, um, yeah, let's do it. For a primer, I'm keep doing it very simple because I don't feel well. I don't really feel like going, but we're gonna get it together. I'm gonna use the Fenty primer, the Soft Matte Pro Filter primer. Hey Jay, I'm not ignoring your comment. I do agree. I'm just like, my brain is like, not not there. Hopefully I can get it together by this meeting. I use three pumps, which is more than enough for my whole face, but I like to use a lot. I'm really working it in. But yeah, we're gonna do something really simple. So yeah, let's talk about makeup I wanna buy. So there are about four different foundations I really wanna try out. Um, when it comes to palettes, right now I'm not really interested in any palettes. I looked at the Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice and I was like, I have all those shades in Juvia's place. I looked at the Norbina palette and I really love BH Cosmetics, not BH, oh my gosh. Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. Um, I really love her palettes. I'm kind of a collector of them, but and I do love purple too. Like I, I like the color purple a lot. It's my second favorite color. But it's just like, as everyone's saying with those hats, like a lot of those aren't going to show up on my skin tone. Like there's only one that's really deep that I could use really in that palette. And I don't want to buy a palette that I can only use one of the matte shades, even though I have other matte shades I can supplement with it. I don't know. I just feel like it is a really, hello. I feel like it is a really beautiful palette, but it's just like, I don't want to spend my money on that. I've been, well, my whole goal for this new school year is like, I'm going to be spending a lot less on makeup. Like I'm doing no buy July right now. I have not bought any makeup whatsoever in the month of July. None. All I have are my subscription, no hair products either. Basically no, no skincare either. That's, well, I did buy a bar of black soap, but skincare is a little bit different. I did need a bar of soap. <laughs> but um, I'm talking about the Norvina palette, so I don't think I'm going to get that one. Um, if I were working at Ulta, I would get it as um, as gratis because every Anastasia palette that comes out, I got as gratis from Ulta. But I don't think I'm going to I don't think I'm going to get the Norvina palette just because I don't know. We'll see. I might have to 
wait and see. But as of right now, I have no plans to buy any palettes. There's only four foundations I want to get. That's what I was going to tell you all about. I really want to try out the new, what is it called? Don't, what? I wrote it down. Let me get my phone real quick. I keep notes on my phone about makeup. Most of them are actually drugstore. Yeah, that was fast, wasn't it? Perks of living in a one bedroom, like literally my bedroom's right there. Uh, most of the foundations I really wanna try are drugstore right now. So I wanna try the CoverGirl Matte Foundation. That's one I really wanna try because everyone seems to be loving it and enjoying it. So that's one, CoverGirl, the Matte Foundation. I'll probably wear shade D70 or D80. I might have to mix the two. That's Nola. I want to try the new NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Foundation. That's like a newer, newer one that they recently just announced or whatever. And I watched um, Too Much Mouse video about it. So I really want to try that one. So that's two. And then I really want to try the Maybelline Super Stay Stick Foundation because I love, um, I honestly, I like the original Maybelline Super Stay Foundation better than the new one that they have now. And I need to get a new shade in it because the shade I have, I feel like it's too light for me now because I've definitely got the tan, especially since going to Carowinds yesterday. I don't know. Do I still have the tan on my back? No, it kind of went away. So when I first get a tan, it looks very obvious. And then like a day goes by and I feel like the tan kind of just melts into my normal skin. Like all of my skin just kind of meshes together. But like yesterday, I had two very distinct lines for my bathing suit on my back and it was really funny. It doesn't happen very often. So actually, that's only three foundations. I kind of want to order another Cover FX Power Play foundation in a darker shade because I love that formula so much that I want a darker shade to mix with some of my winter foundations so that I can wear them now. So, oh, yeah, I was there Monday. So, yeah, I love Charlotte. I'm very close to Charlotte, but I'm in Clover, South Carolina. But I love the Charlotte area, and I'm looking forward to living here for a while, as in five plus years. For foundation today, I want to wear the NYX Total Control Coverage Drops um, in the shade Cocoa is what I normally wear. Where are they, though? What shade is this? This is number 20. This is too pink. This shade's too pink on me. Where is Cocoa? Where is that? Where? I know I pulled it out to use up. If I can't find it, I'm about to change my mind. Where did I put it? Is it over here? Oh, there it is. I found it. So I wear the shade Coco 21. I really like this foundation. It's very lightweight on the skin uh, and you can build the coverage how you want to. So that's how we're gonna use the NYX Total Control Coverage Drops. Oh wait, I just realized I just washed all my brushes yesterday, so I need to take out new brushes before I have foundation running down my face because this foundation is very liquidy. Let me close this. Let's see, what do I want to use for my foundation? This is more powder. I have so many brushes with the thing. We're gonna use this one. We're gonna use this elf brush. I'm pretty sure this is like the buffy brush. Oh, 2% off Maybelline. I'm not buying anything though yet. I might not buy any makeup until late August or September because right now I'm in this awkward phase where I am no longer getting paid by my old school district. And I don't get my first check from my new school district or band camp until sometime in August, probably the second or third week of August, uh, or maybe even the last week of August. So like, I can't spend any extra money on anything. If it's not food or gas, I ain't paying for it at this point. All right, I'm trying to decide if I need an additional mattifying primer. No, I feel like my skin is good. My skin really hasn't been too, too, too oily. 
So this is the shade Coco, and I just like to go under my eye and do a big long stripe. Looks like I'm crying makeup. Then I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. And you can see the coverage is pretty, pretty good. And with the NYX Drop Foundation, it's very easy to blend because it's so liquidy. It's like water, so. Yeah, yep, I'm just shopping my stash. So I'm using an oldie but a goodie right now. Yeah, this shade is still like a perfect match for me. I don't know why on camera, every shade I think is a perfect match. Almost everyone looks like greenish, whatever this looks like on camera. So I'm gonna show you guys a natural light, of course, so you can see Coco is my shade. And that's the shade I plan to get in the won't stop, can't stop, don't stop, whatever it's called, foundation. Yeah, watch too much mouth review on that because she says she likes it almost better than the Cover FX Power Play, and Cover FX Power Play is amazing for oil control. It's great, but my shade is actually a little bit too light for me now because I've gotten a little bit darker, which is why you normally see me mix that foundation with foundations that are a little bit more red or a little bit deeper, so. Okay. You see the coverage on this is so good and it's so easy and fast to blend. I freaking love this NYX Total Control Coverage Drop Foundation. It's really good. And it's also easy to build if you need to do building. If you need to do building, if you need to build it. English, goodness gracious. And it's so lightweight, like it feels like I have nothing on my face. It feels like you're just smoothing water over your face. All right, we have on foundation. And I'm actually gonna switch out these shades. I might give this other shade away because deep rich, it's just like, it's a little too pink on my skin. It looks very strange. I'm actually gonna put this one somewhere else. Put that over here. All right, we're gonna set the face. I'm gonna go in with a loose powder and a pressed powder. Loose powder, you guys already know I'm gonna use the Cody Air Spun in the shade Suntan. I either use Suntan, which is the darker shade they offer, or the shade Translucent Extra Coverage, which is the lightest shade, their clear shade. Oh no, you guys' comments keep popping up and disappearing, so I can't really read them. I saw something about NYX eyeshadow. I'm not really a huge fan of their eyeshadows like that. I'm gonna use another e.l.f. brush, e.l.f. powder brush. Knocking off the excess, and I'm gonna go in and set my under eye and my eyelid area. With this loose powder. I'm just pressing it into my skin. And anywhere where I might get oily. Well, that's a lot. <laughs> I'm thinking about using my Maybelline loose powders because those are really pretty on the skin. Just set the rest of my face and I would mix um, the two darker shades. All right, so let me see, let me read these. Shumshish, I've never tried that foundation. I really like this foundation a lot. But if you have oily skin, I say wait for the new foundation to come out that NYX is releasing because it has 45 shades. 45 shades. And Alyssa Ashley actually worked with them. And then Too Much Mouth, uh, she got to help with the campaign, I think. So, yeah. And I think that foundation is going to be cheaper than the NYX Total Control Coverage Drops. But I like, I like the, the, what am I trying to say? I like this one too, the drops. I really like it a lot. So I feel like it's fast, it's easy. Okay, I'm done with Cody Airspun. We're gonna mix together the two Maybelline powders. I love the Maybelline powders. Switch on back here. I 
And I like to mix together the shade Deep and Dark. Deep is number 35. It's more yellow toned and dark is the darkest shade they have and it's more red tone. So I'm gonna mix the two together. I'm gonna do like 80% of dark, which is the darkest shade that's more red and like 20% of deep, right? Is that it? I get dark and deep confused. Basically, I'm gonna do 80% of number 45 and 20% of 35. I'm just mixing this in the cap. Okay, now I'm mixing them together. Cool. I'm gonna go on quite heavy with this around the perimeter of my face. But yeah, I love these Maybelline powders. As you can see, I'm applying quite a bit. This just makes sure that I don't get oily. I don't have to touch up, none of that. But I'm like pressing it into my skin. And then I'll go in and buff away the excess. And it gives such a pretty smooth, flawless finish. But yeah, these Maybelline Fit Me Loose setting powders are beautiful. And I feel like they're comparable to high-end powders because they're so soft and finely milled. And the finish they give is so, so, so pretty. I'm gonna show y'all in natural light. So now my face is set. I like to make sure I go over my edges so that there's no strange line of demarcation. And I go over my ears too. And whatever's left over, I just put back in one of the containers. As carefully as I can. But yeah, loose powders are just kind of messy. But I like the finish that they give on my skin. Next eyeshadow palette. Yeah, they are getting expensive. Oh, wow. That's great. 17 cent for a mascara. But yeah, these are the two powders, so you can see. This is 35 and this is 40. That's what they look like from far away. Now I look really ashy and really light, but I'm not gonna show y'all in natural light. You can kind of see the difference in the tone. So I use more of the dark one, of course. Let me show y'all natural light, what my face is looking like, and we'll continue on. We're almost done. Oh, I feel like we're almost done. I look like a potato. That's what my sister always says when she's doing her makeup. I look so flat and one dimensional. That's okay. I'm gonna stick these over here because I like these so much. Okie doke. Now my face is like all smooth and that. We need to add some dimension to my face. And I just do that by strobing. I just keep it simple. So for highlight today, since I'm literally just going to meetings with people that I, some of them I've never met before, we're keeping the look very simple. We're gonna use what which one do you want to use? I have so many highlighters. I'm thinking in my head. Um. I kind of want to use Amrezi and Becca because I want to wear this new nose ring and I need something that's not too warm. So I'm going to use the Becca and Amrezi highlighter. What is this even called? I think that's what it's called. It doesn't have a name. But this one, it's really pretty. And I'm not going to go overboard. I'm just going to do a little bit. Not gonna go crazy. 
And I'm using a Luxie 522 tapered highlighter brush. ABH is Anastasia Beverly Hills. I really do love this highlighter though. I feel like it's really pretty. You see how it's more on the cool tone side? It's like a little bit more icy. It's not really a gold. I guess you could say it's a pale, pale champagne gold. You see these two pimples that I've had? They're still here. What did I name them? Veronica, Verona, something? I can't remember. They're still here. The bottom one's kind of going away, but the top one is like not wanting to leave. I still have this one on my chin. No, I haven't tried their bronzers. I'm not a bronzer person at all. Yeah, I'm not really into bronzer like that. Because I don't like things that are red on my skin. Like, I hate looking red, even if it's just in that area. I hate when my face, when my makeup looks red because I don't have that much red in my skin. And it really, really bothers me. And I know that if I were to get the bronzers, the bronzer would probably look red on my skin. Because it's supposed to add warmth. So... Yeah, if it wasn't deep enough for you, it, it's not gonna be deep enough for me because I'm pretty much like, I feel like I don't I don't wear MAC because it breaks me out, but like I'm like a MW48, 49, 450 in there. I feel like probably MW48. When I have people guess, they guess that I'm MW48. But yeah, I don't really wear MAC. I'm just not a huge fan of bronzer either. But yeah, that's pretty much all the makeup I really want. I'm kind of interested in some of the Milani palettes maybe, but we'll see. Okay, see, not too much. We still got some glow, but it's not crazy. Like whatever's left over, I might keep it still. Okay. Done with highlighter. Next, we're going to do brows. I need to finish making my chai tea. I love chai tea. I'm also starting to feel a little bit better. I took Dayquil. I took my vitamins. I took Dayquil this morning. I had like 12 ounces of water already. And now I'm drinking the chai tea. I walked my dog, I was out in the sunlight for a little bit. So I'm starting to feel a little bit better. I think that day quill is what's really gonna help me get through today. My head doesn't hurt as bad either, my headache. So that's good. For my brows, I'm gonna use the One Wild Retractable Eyeliner Pencil. Sorry, I keep like swiveling. <laughs> I feel like a kid. Oh no, I just fell on the floor. I'm just gonna use this brush I use for the powder to brush my eyebrow hairs all the same direction. I'm making such a big, big mess. I saw the, the Morphe Braun Tour thingies. Those look really cool. But it's just not my thing. So I probably won't be getting any. Ooh, my stomach just made a very funny sound. Oh yeah, I've seen the blush trios. Those are really pretty, but I'm not really a blush person. I have a favorite blush. It's the um, Dare to Soar brush. I think that's what it's called from Wet n Wild, like their summer collection. This limited edition, that blush is so pretty. Wow, look at how 
one eyebrow versus no eyebrow filled in. Eyebrows are important. If I could afford it, I would totally do microblading because if I could afford it, I would get it done because I mean, I could save like, it takes me not that long, especially when I'm not talking. It takes me about, I would say three to five minutes to do both my brows. But I mean, that's like a huge difference though, like. Why is my face, oh, I was like, why is my face glittery? And I was like, you have on highlighter. Kind of got all over my face though, that's okay. That's okay, I don't mind. Yeah, I saw her microblading video. Yeah, how she was allergic to it. Uh, I'm gonna let y'all know right now. I have very tough skin. I don't. I'm not allergic to anything that I know of. And it's like I have, I have two tattoos. I have two piercings, and like, and I have a high pain tolerance. So I feel like I would be fine with microblading. The only thing I've ever heard of that really scares me is giving birth to a child, like a vaginal birth to a child and um, getting my belly button pierced. Those are the only two things. And I'm like the pain of those two things, like that's the only stuff that really phases me, but everything else I'm like, oh, it's okay. But yeah, I definitely can't afford it either. So like, it's probably not gonna happen. I also am not fond of the idea of them cutting into the skin on my eyebrows either. It's like, I'm sure I can handle the pain, but it's like, I'm not really feeling that, you know? But I have a pretty high pain tolerance. So I feel like that pain is probably similar to the pain of getting a tattoo because tattoos, they're literally scraping into your skin with a little needle with ink, just like microblading, so. It's just going to hurt more because it's right on your brow bone. It's probably going to hurt a little bit more, but it's not going to vibrate as much because it's not like, you know, when you get tattoos like this, like it vibrates, like it's going so fast. I'll see my teacher arm. She's going like into your skin, whereas they're like doing little scrapes, you know? So I don't know. I feel like it would be similar to that, though. Are my brows symmetrical? Kind of. <laughs> yeah, I probably won't ever do it, honestly, because I mean, it really doesn't take me that long to do this. At all. And then I'm in control that I can have different brows every day. Which is exciting. And then the fact that it fades and you have to like get it touched up and get it redone as well. It's like, hmm. Hmm. I'll pass. Yeah, my brows look different. They're two different shapes, which is normal because they're naturally two different shapes, but it's all good. They're symmetrical enough. Okay, let's do eyeshadow and eyes. Since I'm not feeling good, I'm feeling lazy. Thanks. And I'm not really trying to do the most. I'm gonna take this Sephora eyeshadow in the shade Brown Diamonds. This is the only eyeshadow I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna take my finger. These go on sale all the time. I think they're originally $10 a piece, but they go on sale for $5 all the time. I'm just gonna take this shade, I'm gonna apply it all over my lid and into the crease with my finger. It's basically the exact same color as my skin tone, but with silver glitter in it. You see how it sparkles? Super easy, super pretty. It's a way to, you know, zhuzh up your eye look with um, minimal effort. Just 
and some sparkle. And I'm looking in my bathroom mirror to do this. I'm not even using the hand mirror. Did I have my brow bone? I don't think I did. That's okay though. That's okay. I did a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of subtle. Like these are really, really glittery. You see that glitter? How fun. Can't be the elementary teacher without some glitter in your life. Okay. Yeah, so pretty. And then I'm gonna take, oh no, I washed, I just washed that brush. The, my little favorite brush to do my lower lash line. Ugh, gotta get another brush. Let's see what I got. In here, up and here, up and here. We're gonna use this concealer brush. This is an e.l.f. concealer brush. I'm gonna dip into that same brown diamond shade with the concealer brush and I'm just gonna smudge it onto my lower lash line. For some glitter and sparkle all around the eye. This brush is really dense, so it's really easy to apply the shadow quickly. Which I'm supposed to be here at 11 or is it 11.30? I think 11. So I'm doing good on time. It's just turned to 10 a.m. And I'm also gonna put this in my inner corner a little bit, just around my whole eye. The shade is really, really pretty. Like it's not too much at all. It literally is almost the exact same color as my skin, but it's just so glittery that you're like, oh, she's got eyeshadow. Good morning. Like it catches the light nice, you know? Okay, we're done with eyeshadow. We're gonna go with mascara and I'm gonna try out this new mascara I got um, in my BoxyCharm. It's from Wander Beauty. I like the, the packaging. And it's called the Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. Comes in a tube like this. Interesting, huh? <laughs> Never used this before. That's what the wand looks like. It's kind of got a slight curve to it. Oh, interesting. It's curved almost like your spine is. <laughs> That's what I think of. Huh. I don't know what to think of this mascara. It's a... Uh, It's uh, not doing too much with one layer, but we're gonna we're gonna try and build this up. Like I mean, you can see there's a slight difference between this side and this side, but it's not doing too much right now. But like I said, we're gonna try and give it multiple coats. <laughs> Yeah, waterproof. I normally don't do waterproof because my eyes don't really water. And I find that even when I do cry when I'm wearing non-waterproof mascara, it doesn't really run, which is interesting. I don't know. It just doesn't really run. Maybe because like when I know I'm going to cry, like if I'm watching a movie or something, I literally hold the tissue like right under my eyes and I just like hold it there. <laughs> Or if it's really bad, I do the lean back. So it can just like kind of roll back into my hair. So yes, I got the palette and I really, really like it. I got the palette. I actually used it on Sunday when I was getting ready for church. And I really liked the look that I came out with. I feel like those shadows kind of faded though a little bit on me. That's the only complaint I have about them. They're really easy to blend. Really nice, um, warm palette, you know, good for traveling. That's what I would use it for. Good for traveling or every day. It's a really cute, it's from Crown 
brushes. I actually have it right here. Let me show you. I could have used that for today's look, but we'll do another video. This is a little palette. Yeah, this mascara, I'm really having to build it. There's a new Juvia's Place palette. She came out with another one. Or are you talking about the Warrior palette? It looks like this. You can see I've used it. This to me reminds me of, um, what's that Urban Decay? Uh, the one of those naked palettes, the warm one, the fiery one. This is what it reminded me of as soon as I opened it. So yeah, the mattes are great in here. Like I used this shade, that shade, that shade, and this shade for my look. Oh, and this shade. So basically these four right here and that brown for my look. It's a really pretty, it's like the Naked Heat palette. Yeah, it's like a miniature Naked Heat. So I'm really thankful I have this because I don't have any of the Naked Shades because Naked Shades, Naked palettes, because I feel like they're overpriced and I'm just not a fan of the Naked line from Urban Decay. But this is kind of like a dupe for the... What? She has a new one. I need to look it up. What? 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 What was it? I hope y'all can't see my butt. I just stood all the way up. I have on shorts, but let me look it up. Now you got me curious because I love to support Juvia's Place. Did you see the picture of Jacqueline Hill with Khalifa? I think that's so funny. On Instagram. Oh, I see four new posts. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I see it. Let me see the inside. Ooh, interesting. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to wait till Fumi, Fumi's review comes out on it, and then I might get it. I really do love the packaging. That orange, orange, I love orange. Orange is one of my favorite colors. Like, my wedding, there's going to be orange flowers. And then that's what the inside looks like, guys. It's very bright, almost like rainbowish. There's, like, hardly any neutrals in here, which is, this is different. This is different from what they normally do. So I like it. I want to see how that... Aya shade works. Yeah, this mascara, bro, look at my lashes. They're like barely there. I'm still going to work on building it up. I took a break. But the shade, what was Aya, I want to see how that yellow works. That's like bright neon yellow. I want to see how that works. And like I said, I'm going to wait for Fumi's review on it. You guys know Fumi Desalu Bold. I think that's how you say, say her name. I'm going to wait for her to review the palette and then I'm going to get it, see what she say about it. I'm sure it's great because their shadows are great. I love the like neon matte shades. You don't really see that. You see neon colors usually in um in uh sparkles or shimmers. But yeah, and that Coley shade is really pretty. That gold. Wait, glad wait, what? <laughs> what was it? Wait, you, what? Ulta is gonna have juice place? I didn't know that. That's great. You better work, Ulta. I like the way Ulta has been going with like the brands that they have and stuff compared to Sephora. You know, I don't know. I'm more an Ulta girl than I am a Sephora girl. And I'm not just saying that because I worked at Ulta because y'all know I worked at Sephora as well. But yeah, wow, I'm excited. I don't work at Ulta anymore though. I don't work for them anymore because I moved up here and I'm teaching like full-time, full-time, like basically double full-time. So yeah. Yeah, this mascara, I mean, it's working, but you see, I'm really having to build it up. Like, this is layer, what, number three over here? Uh, yeah, you really have to build it up. It looks very natural. If you're somebody that likes very natural looking lashes, or you have the time to build it up for 10 hours, then you would like this mascara. But me, I need my mascara to work a little bit faster than this is, because my computer is about to die soon, and yeah. Oh, my tummy's growling. Yes. Well, it's not free. Well, yes, it is free. So if you work for Ulta Beauty, you get gratis, which is they're gifting you makeup. You don't have to pay for it, but you do have to train about it. So you don't just get makeup. They don't just like walk in here, who's back makeup? No, you have to do training about the makeup and then you get it for free. So that's why it's called gratis. Um, you also get a 25% discount if you work at Ulta Beauty. So yeah, we would have like every, I think six weeks, we would have a training and then you do the training for hours and then you get um, the makeup after. So the training is usually between two to four hours of training. 
you watch videos about it, you talk about the selling points of the product, you learn all about the ingredients, why they made it, the mission of that company. You learn a lot of information. It's good information. I'm nerdy, so I like enjoyed it. So, and then like, rich really, the getting the gratis on top was like extra. I just enjoyed knowing the information about the products that we had in our store. Cause like I said, I'm very nerdy. So yeah, that's how gratis works at Ulta. There's also like special holiday gratis, or you can also get gratis if you sell a lot of a specific brand or if you help out specific vendors, they might also give you gratis for like helping them meet their goals and their quotas and things like that. So there's lots of ways to earn gratis. Basically you do a good job and you get gratis. Worrying about yourself and mind your own business. This is me throwing shade at some of the people I work with. And then you'll get gratis. <laughs> so like you got to earn it. You don't just give it to you. Okay, so now this mascara, look at it. I built it up and looks okay now. Let's see what it can do for these lower lashes. Okay, so it's working a little bit better for the lower lashes. But yeah, I loved working for Ulta. I liked working for Ulta more than I liked working for Sephora. But I do wish that Ulta had a uniform because it was really nice to have a uniform at Sephora. Yes, it is illegal and it's also very nasty. And we have to destroy our makeup so that people don't do that. We destroy it before we throw it away. Just so you know. And when I say destroy, I mean destroy. It's not worth it. Just work hard and save your money for the things that you want. Yeah, don't, don't, don't dumpster dive. That's nasty. People live in dumpsters. Can you imagine you dive into a dumpster and there's like a whole person living in there? No, just no. Or animals live in dumpsters. Just don't do it. Just save your money. Work hard, save your money. Wait for that 20% coupon to come around. Like, I'll, you see, I have my list in my phone. You make your list and then you you get what you can when there's coupons and sales and things because you don't need it all at once. And that's something that I've kind of had to check myself on. It's like, I don't need it as soon as it comes out. Like, I can wait. Like, if it's not limited edition, then just wait and really do my research about stuff and really evaluate. Do I already have something just like this in my collection? Yes or no. And if I do, then I don't need to buy it because my collection is to the point where it's it's more than enough for one person. And if it gets any bigger than what it is now, it's like it overwhelms me. So I need to get rid of some stuff before I buy new stuff because it gives me anxiety to have too much makeup, to have too much of anything, even though I have way more storage, even though I'm in a smaller space. Yeah. Save up your points, too, at Ulta. Save those points. I tell people, save up all your points until the holidays or your birthday and then treat yourself. Yeah, one of my coworkers, she had $300 worth of points. No, she had $1,000 worth of points. <laughs> yeah, she had $1,000 worth of points, so... Okay, so that mascara is okay. I mean, you see it eventually gave me decent lashes, but this still isn't as intense as what I get with some of my other mascaras, but I'm going to keep it. I'm going to use it up, you know. So this is the eye look, though. Eye look is done. Let me show you guys the new, and this is not sponsored, but I don't know if you guys watch, dang, what's the little girl's name? Destiny Taylor. I'm sorry for calling her little girl, but I mean, I think we're the same age. She's really cute. That's why I call her little girl. I don't mean in a demeaning, dehumanizing way because I know that can be taken, especially in the black community. Um, they do not expire if you are platinum or diamond, I believe. Check the bottom of your receipt. The next time you go, it will tell you if they expire or not. But if you're diamond, I know they don't expire. And if you're platinum, I don't think they expire either. But if you're just, what's the entry level? Bruh. If, you're just, if you're not platinum or diamond, then they do expire. And it tells you when. Yeah, our reward system at Ulta, I should say their reward system at Ulta is a lot better than Sephora. So, 
And we also give out way more coupons than Sephora ever does. Just saying. They. I need to start saying they. I don't work for them anymore. I'm diamond. I'm diamond. Yeah, I'm diamond. But back to Destiny Taylor. So Destiny Taylor is a YouTuber. She actually worked with ColourPop on their foundation. She's the model for shade, I think 180 is her shade, or 185, either 180 or 185. Beautiful brown skin, black woman, gorgeous. And I follow her channel and she had this giveaway and I actually won a giveaway, guys. This is the first giveaway I ever won for um, some customized jewelry for your nose, nose rings. She made a video all about these different nose rings. And I have my nose pierced. I've had it since I was 17 years old. And that's one thing I don't really spend money on, but I do like nose rings. And I ended up winning the giveaway. It was for this company called Pata Pata Jewelry, which is based out of Israel. So this came all the way from Israel. The lady who owns it is super nice. Her name is uh, Duran. I don't, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Duran Duran. And here's the card. She sent me a little card. It's called Pata Pata Jewelry. And then she wrote me a little card. How she's excited to see um, what I look like and to share with you guys about the jewelry. This stuff is real, real sterling silver, real white gold, and real um, 14 karat gold. And so I have won a free nose ring. All her jewelry ranges between like 30 to over $100. Um, but it's really good quality and it's handmade with you in mind. So I won, well, I selected, I won, and then I got to choose what I wanted. And I chose this nose ring. It's called the Mandala nose ring, I think. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's really, really pretty. But let me put it in my nose. Hopefully you're not freaked out by this. But it's this really pretty nose ring. I suck at putting nose rings in, just so you know. Let me close my sink, because I don't want it to roll down the sink. This one I think retails for $54 if I'm not mistaken. So I got it for free. Yeah, I suck at putting my nose ring in. I need a mirror closer. And my nose closes up super fast even though I've had it for so many years. Oh. And it doesn't help I have long nails too. Come on, get in there nose ring. There we go. Yeah, I've got it in there now. But there you go, you can see it now, kind of. It almost looks like a flower, but it's supposed to be like those um, mandala, you know, the people get them tattooed a lot, where it's like flowers and within flowers and it like ramps out, it's very symmetrical, really pretty. That's what it's inspired by. And it's really, really pretty, I wish you could see it better. But yeah. What made me pierce my nose, um, I've always thought it was really pretty um, and aesthetically pleasing. And so that's why I got it. <laughs> and it wasn't like, all my friends have it, I'm going to get it. No, it's something I've wanted for a long time since I was about 14, which is why my parents let me get it when I was 17. Because um, I had to have parental permission in Kansas. You have to be 18 to get any piercings or tattoos in Kansas without parental permission. And then uh, to support her brand, I decided to order... Um, a fake septum ring because I like septum rings too. But I would never get it pierced. My cousin has hers pierced. And that's what this looks like. It's really pretty. I forget what this one is called, the name of it. I should have saved the receipt. I don't remember the name of it. But um, this one was, I think, around $54 as well. But they're really pretty. I don't like them together because this is kind of bold and then this is obviously kind of bold. So I think today I'm just going to wear, I really like the septum a lot. I kind of want to wear the septum with my old nose ring. I also feel like I'm gonna scare people, but I don't care. <laughs> I really like the septum a lot. I think it's so pretty. Just trying to make sure without such a bold nose ring. I think they're really pretty. Or I could just wear the nose ring because it's already in my nose and it took a while for it to get in there. So. Yeah. 
And then I also have my lip pierced, but you can hardly see that. And that's because it grew into my face. That's a, a story for another day. Um, but yeah, I've had my lip pierced since I was 18. But yeah, if you want to know more about my piercings and my tattoos, we can talk about that another day. But I just wanted to show you guys the nose ring that I won. Shout out to Destiny Taylor for uh, choosing me. It's not stuck for life. I can get it taken out, but it would be a quick... They would have to cut me open a little bit and just take it out, but I'm not really trying to do all that right now because I would definitely want to get it re-pierced because I love this piercing, the Monroe piercing. I love the two piercings that I have. I don't want any more. This is definitely not that painful. This is like... This is like getting your ear pierced right here because it's just skin. This is cartilage. This is like getting your tragus or not your tragus up here pierced or like here because this is cartilage. Your nose is cartilage, so it's it's thicker. Neither one, I didn't cry for either one. This one you barely feel, but they leave the my sister saw this and she looked terrified. They leave the needle kind of hanging in your face with this one. And she was like <laughs> in the corner looking at me, like, why are you doing this? And it didn't really hurt that bad. Um, the swelling and the healing process for this though was kind of annoying, but not that bad. The nose is really quick, simple. I I bled literally a single drop of blood. They put the ring in and it was over. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna wear this nose ring today. But yeah, that's it for this look. For my lips, I'm gonna put on the Alyssa Ashley gloss because I love it. It's called Nude Bros. Keeping it simple. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, if you have a nose ring or septum ring or anything like that, then check out Pata Pata Beauty. They're also on Instagram. She's on Facebook. And I'm going to shout her out when I do a more exciting look. Um, and I'll wear the stuffs. But yeah, I don't like the way they look together because this is a statement itself. I've never had a nose ring this big and it's not even big. It's more so just wide, but it's really, really pretty. Like the detail in it is really pretty. Like I wish you could see. So yeah, that's it for this video. I'm gonna get dressed and head to the Waffle House to meet up with my mentor. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. It was great chatting with you all as usual. Have a wonderful Wednesday.